Finding and downloading new apps for your iOS devices couldn't get much easier than using the App Store. I want to launch the App Store here on my iPad. From the App Store, I can browse through the thousands of available apps or search for a specific one. Notice we have five sections at the bottom of the display. Today, Games, Apps, Updates, and Search. The Today section is going to show apps highlighted by Apple on a daily basis. In the Games section, we can see games that are currently being featured and the top paid and free games. The App section is everything other than games, with several featured apps along with the top charts and category breakdowns. In the Updates section, you're going to see any apps that have updates available and apps that have been recently updated. In the Search section, we can find specific apps or view trending searches. I'm going to do a search for an app called Scanner Mini. In the results, we get an advertisement up at the top. Ads like these can be easily identified by their light blue background. The results I want are below, Scanner Mini and Scanner Pro. These are scanning apps that can turn your iPhone or iPad into a portable scanner using the built-in camera on the device. Scanner Mini has a download button next to it because I've downloaded this app before, either on this iPad or another one of my iOS devices. Free apps that I have not downloaded before will just have a Get button next to them. For the paid app, I need to enter a password or use Touch ID to make the purchase. I'll download the free Scanner Mini app. It's now available to open here on my iPad. An app downloaded from the App Store will take the first free spot available on your home screen or home screens. Here on my iPad, this app goes to the second home screen. On an iPad, we can move the app with a quick tap and drag. I'll move this to the last spot on my main home screen. Doing this will push Keynote to the second screen. We can also tap and drag to place an app in the dock or remove one from the dock. Tap and hold on an app for a few seconds and all the apps will begin to wiggle. This allows us to move apps or delete them from the device by tapping the X in the upper left corner of the app icon. If an app doesn't have an X on its icon, it can't be removed. Making apps wiggle like this is the only way to move apps around on an iPhone. I can't do the quick tap and drag here like I can on the iPad. To stop apps from wiggling, just press the Home button. We can create a folder by dragging one app onto another. iOS is going to automatically name the new folder based on the type of apps that were placed in it. But you can also edit the name by tapping on it if needed. To move an app or folder to the next page of apps, just tap and drag to the right edge of the display to move automatically to the next page of apps. We can drag apps from the second page here to the main home page by dragging to the left edge of the display. Getting apps organized into your desired locations, folders, and different home screens can make everyday use of your iPad or iPhone that much more manageable, especially if you have a lot of apps like so many of us do.